nappies. No nappies? No. They're all gone now, aren't they? Yeah. Because you're a big girl. Hi guys, so if you're watching this video then you're probably thinking about potty training right now and it can be quite a daunting thing to do, however I have successfully potty trained both my children within a week and I can tell you it really is not that bad. <laughs> if you follow my channel you'll know that a little while ago I actually started potty training Olivia and she was dry within four days. I have since got her dry through the night as well so I thought I'd just share with you my top potty training tips. Honestly, there is no perfect age. It could be from 18 months to four years old. Every child is different and they will let you know when they're ready. You probably noticed I've had a lot more interest in you going to the toilet. I know if I'm doing a wee, Olivia will go, oh, wee's here. <laughs> Come on as mums, we never go to the toilet in peace, do we? <laughs> you might find that your child is starting to tell you once they've been to the toilet in their nappy. I also found with both my children, they got to a point where they didn't like being in a wet nappy anymore. And as soon as they'd done a wee, they would take that nappy off. My daughter, Olivia, as soon as she'd done a wee, she would take her dirty nappy off, go to the cupboard, get herself a clean nappy and put that on. But I found I was just getting through so many nappies with her doing this. So I was like, this is the time. I need to potty train now. And my last one is that they need to be able to communicate with you, whether they tell you, they signal to you, something, so that they're able to tell you that they need the toilet and then you can get them to the potty or the toilet on time. So there was a couple of things we did before we officially started potty training, just to help ease Olivia into things. One was to actually get a potty. <laughs> My next tip is to give them some time to get used to the potty. Although my daughter was really excited about the potty and kept showing us and saying, my potty, my potty, she didn't want to sit on it. <laughs> so I just left it around the house and just gave her some time to get used to it. So this can really help before you start potty training. Another tip is to start with wet wheeze. <laughs> what I mean by that is you've probably found when you put your child in the bath, they will do a wee. Now water is a really good trigger for making children do a wee. I've used this tip when I've needed to get a urine sample for Olivia for the doctor or anything like that. So putting their feet in some warm water can help that sort of feeling of needing to do a wee. Now we started in the bathroom. So as Olivia got in the bath and her feet got wet, I would, I could tell she needed a wee. So I'd quickly lift her up and put her on the toilet. A few days in, as soon as we put her in the bath, she'd go, oh, wee wees and she would want me to put her on the toilet because Olivia was already so used to doing this at bath time it really helped when we moved on to full-time potty and toilet training I did find you could also get a bowl of warm water and while they're sitting on the potty you could put their feet in that just to help things go and get them used to maybe win in different places So when you decide to potty train, literally just go for it. Make a big fuss that they're not going to be in nappies anymore. Wave goodbye to them. Be like, bye bye nappies. And literally go cold turkey. Apart from when they're at sleep, but I'll get onto that in a little bit. If you're constantly putting them in and out of nappies because it's convenient because you're going out and you don't want to have to deal with a mess, all it's doing is actually confusing them and then they don't actually know when to go, when to not, when to tell you. And you'll probably find that it's going to take a lot longer and you're going to have a lot more accidents. Obviously they're gonna either have like new big girl knickers or big boy pants and that's really exciting as well and getting them to try it on and you'll probably find they're really excited about this. When you first start potty training, just move the potty around the house with you or if you're in the garden, just always have it close by because to start with, they're not gonna give you much warning that they need to go, so you need to move quite quickly. It's really handy if you keep your children in loose clothing to start with. One, so it's easier for you to get them onto the potty quickly, but you might find that they also want to do this themselves. So having loose clothing that they can get down on their own is gonna make this a lot easier for them. Or you might find it's easier just to put them in a big baggy t-shirt and nothing else. This is great if you're able to be outdoors or in a garden or if you've got floors inside that are easy to clear up. <laughs> And obviously just loads and loads of praise. Like whenever they've done anything on the potty or the toilet, just make a big fast clap, cheer, you know, ring daddy at work, ring grandparents. Just let them know how proud of them you are. 
there's no escaping it you are definitely going to have a few little accidents to deal with but it's fine just try and stay calm and the most important thing is to not get angry with them obviously this is all new to them it's something that they've got to try and get used to so just be really calm just be like uh oh don't worry just a little accident or you know next time let's try and get to the potty like remember to tell mummy when you need your wee wee's and you know just be really reassuring and calm and just let them know that it's okay Having a few accidents is actually a good thing because they're not gonna like how it feels to be wet or dirty in a pair of knickers or pants. This is why we chose not to use pull-ups. And by doing this, it's actually gonna probably encourage them to want to use the potty or toilet next time. So it's gonna be a lot of wee and poo talk in this video. <laughs> If they have had a little accident, still take them to the potty or the toilet to wipe them. And if they've done a little poo, you could shake that into the toilet and just let them see that that is where poos are supposed to go. Honestly, you don't need any fancy gadgets and gizmos to potty train. You literally just need a potty, a toilet seat adapter, knickers and pants and patience. <laughs> However, there are a couple of other things that you might find quite useful. One being a potty training book to read with your child. Now, I found that this was really important with my son, Ralph. He was my firstborn. You know, he was the first one doing this. So I had to try and teach it to him. Where second time round with Olivia, I don't feel like I really needed that because she already had big brother around. She wants to do everything that he's doing. So I found that she learned a lot from him anyway. My next thing is a reward chart. Now you don't need to go and buy loads of fancy presents and you know bombard them with loads of bribery. Just a simple chart and stickers is all that you need. Now I've actually made my own one of these that you can download off my website. So I'll put the link for that in the description box below. And she really loved that every time she used the potty or the toilet, she went and put a new sticker on her chart and it just made it that little bit more fun and a little bit of a reward for her. One of the best things I bought for potty training on the go was a travel potty and I've got two here. This is the My Carry Potty and I used this one when I had my son and I've recently got the potet when I potty trained Olivia. Both are brilliant. We use this one a lot. It comes in loads of colours and designs which the kids love. It's got a handy handle for you to carry it around. And what's really good about this one is it seals. So if you are not near a toilet, you can literally shut the lid. Nothing's going to come out and you can just keep that in there until you can get to a toilet. The only downside is if that is in there all day, it is not going to smell good when you open it. So I recently found this one. What I love about this one is when it's folded down, it's really compact and I can actually fit this in my bag and it means I don't have to carry a separate potty around with me, which I really like. It also comes with a handy little bag and the way it works is you fold out the legs and you just push them into place to just keep them rigid and then you have your potty on the go. Obviously the difference with this one is it comes with disposable liners. You can see it's got this absorbent pad at the bottom but you just slot your liner over your potty and then on the feet you can see it's got these little grooves and that just holds the liner down while your child is using it. Another great thing to have is a wee mat. Now they come in lots of different sort of shapes and sizes and designs. You can get them in lots of places, but they're basically a disposable liner. I know they do like disposable changing mats. They do um, disposable mattress protectors. They even do like puppy pee mats. <laughs> but they are great for lining your pram or your car seat with, just because if you do have any accidents, it's not gonna leak through to everything. <laughs> then the last thing is to just take lots of spare clothes with you. Although we stay out of nappies during the day, I do put my children back in nappies at night time when we are starting potty training, just because the night is such a long time for, to expect them to stay dry. By putting them in a nappy at night, you can actually monitor how wet they are in the morning and then you'll know whether your child still needs to be in nappies at night or not. The only thing I will do is just make sure she tries to do a wee before she goes to bed. However, with naps, I have decided to leave Olivia's nappy off. I did do a test on our first day of potty training. I put her to bed in a nappy just to see when she woke up if she was dry or not, and she was. So I took a chance the next day and she has been drier every day since. I do try and get her to sit on the toilet and try and do a wee before she does have her nap though and I feel like that helps keep her dry through her nap time. 
when she does go down for a nap that I do put her in a different blanket to her duvet cover just because if she did ever have an accident I don't want to be rushing to get a duvet cover washed and dry ready for bedtime it's a lot easier to just wash a blanket there is another tip you can do with bedtime and that is to put a waterproof mattress protector under your fitted sheet but if you double this up so you've got a waterproof sheet your fitted sheet a waterproof sheet a fitted sheet then if your child does have an accident you've only got to whip off the two layers and you've got fresh sheets ready to go underneath I feel like this is the tricky bit of potty training because you've probably nailed the wheeze but you might find poos are not going as well. I know with Olivia, she like held hers in a lot um, and then when she did need to go, she wouldn't sit on the potty long enough to actually let them come out. So I found I was doing a lot of trips to the potty because she'd go, poos, I'd run to the toilet, put her down and then she'd go, no poos. I would get up and five minutes later, it'd be like, poos, I'll run her back. No poos. <laughs> and I did that a lot, but you just need a lot of patience with this. Wave goodbye to the poos. <laughs> Olivia likes to have bye a look, bye. see what she's done, you know, wave, and she goes, bye poos. <laughs> it sounds really funny, but it does really help. They also might not like the flush, so don't flush it while they're still sitting on the toilet. It's quite a scary noise when they're sitting there. You might find that your child actually likes to press the flusher button themselves too. This is where a soft padded like seat adapter can really help. Obviously toilets are really big and they could get scared of falling in. Hard sort of potties might not be very comfortable where a little padded seat will be a lot better. I found with Olivia, she never liked to sit on the toilet long enough to actually let herself do a poo, which is why we had lots of trips backwards and forwards. But I've tried to do a few things to distract her, to like keep her on there a little bit longer. Just make up a silly song or even get a book out. That can help too. One of the hardest things in potty training is if your child starts holding their poos, then they're going to get constipated, which then means when they go, it might hurt, which then is going to make them more scared to go again. So you end up in a bit of a vicious cycle. So whenever I start potty training, I make sure that Olivia is drinking a lot. She's eating a lot of like fresh fruit and vegetables, getting a lot of exercise just to help keep things moving and stop her getting constipated. Now I have a little boy and a little girl and on the whole potty training has been pretty much the same. There are just a few little differences. I found with my son, when I put him on the potty to do a wee, if things were not pointing down, <laughs> things could spray up and we could still have an accident even though he was on the potty. So I found putting one of the wee mats under the potty really helped things sort of spraying out. <laughs> You also might find with little boys that they want to wee standing up. They might have seen their dad do this and it's only natural for them to want to copy. I did buy a really great little gadget from Amazon. It's a frog urinal that is designed for kids and it literally just sticks to the wall and you can just lift it out and pour the wees into the toilet. Also, target practice. If they're going to wee standing up, and especially if they're weeing into the toilet, you want to make sure that those wees go in the toilet and not everywhere else. <laughs> so you could put um, a little bit of food dye in the toilet or stick a little bit of tissue to the side of the bowl, anything to help like give them something to aim for. I hope your potty experience goes well, guys. Let me know in the comments below how it went for you. Thank you so much for watching and if you haven't done so already I'd love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and I hope to see you again in my next video. Bye!